Hey Randy, do you know how sometimes an impersonation becomes more of a pop culture icon than the original? Oh, absolutely. There's David Fry's Richard Nixon, uh, Daryl Hammond's Sean Connery, and for sheer political impact, how about this one? And I can see Russia from my house. <laughs> I'm Steve McClellan. And I'm Randy Hodgins, and that was Tina Fey, skewering then vice presidential candidate Sarah Palin with an impression that later studies showed actually lowered her favorable ratings among Republican voters. But long before that, Elizabeth Stamatina Fay was born in Upper Darby Township, Pennsylvania in 1970 to parents who loved comedy and would introduce her to classic films and shows from the Marx Brothers and Monty Python to Mel Brooks and, yes, Saturday Night Live. Moving to Chicago after college, Tina worked her way up the sketch comedy ladder, eventually earning a spot in the Second City troupe. From there, she was recruited to Saturday Night Live, where she became the first female head writer. But she may be best remembered for her stint as Weekend Update co-anchor with Amy Poehler. Here's a sample. Why are people abandoning Hillary for Obama? Some say that they are put off by the fact that Hillary can't control her husband and that we would end up with co-presidents. Because that would be terrible, having two intelligent, qualified people working together to solve problems. Ugh! Why would you let Starsky talk to Hutch? After SNL, Tina developed the sitcom 30 Rock, a comedy about backstage machinations at a late night show that looked a lot like SNL. As producer Liz Lemon, Tina was the stable center around which comedy chaos swirled. And that's not to say Liz wasn't funny herself. Her one-liners are considered some of the highlights of the show. Here are some classic Liz Lemon drops. Got a busy week? Not really. I was going to take this class called Cooking for One, but the teacher killed himself. Oh, my heart's pounding like I'm watching Oprah's farewell season. <laughs> Trying on jeans is my favorite thing. Maybe later I can get a pap smear from an old male doctor. After 30 Rock ended its run in 2013, Tina moved behind the camera, producing the unbreakable Kimmy Schmidt for Netflix. And she teamed up again with Amy Poehler to become an in-demand award show hosting duo, particularly for their work at the Golden Globes. And while the duo were initially seen as a safer choice than comedy bad boy Ricky Gervais, Tina showed she could sling a barb with the best of them. Gravity is nominated for Best Film. It's the story of how George Clooney would rather float away into space and die than spend one more minute with a woman his own age. Tina's groundbreaking career has been rewarded with an astonishing nine primetime Emmys, three Golden Globes, five Screen Actor Guild Awards, and seven Writers Guild Awards. In 2010, she was awarded the Mark Twain Prize for American Humor, the youngest ever recipient. You can find out more about Tina Fey and all our comedy legends, including video clips and extended audio cuts at LaughTracksRadio.com. Thanks for listening. And until next time, it's goodbye from me. And it's goodbye from him. Goodbye, everybody. 